Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video we will talk about uh, how we can create uh, the dynamic messages. So if you have seen my previous video where I have talked about how you can create these kind of messages but they were static in nature and we were manually typing in the messages. But let's say we have a file that we receive maybe on a daily basis or weekly basis based on which we want to display or maybe from a database uh, where you have the columns like from and message and you want to get that input into your dashboard as a dynamic messaging then how you can do that we will see it in this example so let's go to our uh, application where we have uh, defined all of those messages in the, with the help of drop down menu and this is the message item we have created for each of the message and now let's see how we can do it dynamically so let me first uh, make it a comment by putting Control shift c is the shortcut to make everything comment and after the comma uh, what we need to do is we need to define the uh, output of these messages which we will get it from the server file so for that uh, drop down menu output is basically so earlier we have used drop down menu because we were creating everything in front end but now we need it as an output that's why we have created drop down menu output and let's write it as uh, msg output so this is a message output we want to get and hit save so everything is fine over here so let's move on into the server and create the output dollar msg output so the msg output is basically the one which you have given it over here message output and you want to create the render menu and within that now let's see the file that we have so control o i was just writing some mistake has happened alt o which i have incorrectly pressed so control o to open the file and here is the file from which we want to fetch the messages so from finance sales from finance we are on threshold from sales sales are at 55 percent sales the next meeting is on monday these are the messages and these are the departments from which we have got the message and this is what we want to display dynamically on our dashboard so to get that let's messages we want to first declare the output in which we want to get the message and we want to iterate through each of the row so apply read.csv to read the file file name is messages.csv we want to iterate by each row that's what one indicate and we want to use the function to to read each of the content of this a uh, message while by each row so let's declare it a row object and uh, now we want to read the each message so for that we have message item and within message item we have from is equals to and within the row object we have from and same is with message we have within the row object the message so this is basically saying that within each row go to the internal object that's why we have used double brackets and get the value from uh, from and get the value from message from the row for each row in the message object all right so once we have done that uh, now we need to define the uh, send the drop down menu messages back to the output or back to the ui as a drop down menu so for that we will write drop down menu and we want to send out the messages and the output is msgs so this is these are the messages that we want to send it out and before that we will just write uh, if we are writing this and then we need to write like message one two three four but if we want to send all the messages at just one so we will write dot list is equals to msgs that's the uh, syntax we need to follow to send out all the messages otherwise you have to write uh, for each of the message type one command or the one function so let me stop the previous instance 
and run the application all right so let's go ahead and run it so it is showing an error that expected an object with the class shiny.tag so let's review our code maybe we have missed something so as we can see uh, here in the row 80 we are getting the drop down menu and within that after that we are getting some sort of error after this so let's see what it is expected it class with the shiny object shiny dot tag so for the drop down menu i think what we need to write is basically type what kind of type that we need because it has three types if i if i'm not mistaken the type is messages notification or task so let's see if this is the one which is causing the issue stop this and run the app yep that's what we need to specify and what type you want to show after this all of your messages which was there in the text file or the csv file are coming here like the one we had the static message in that way if it is if you want to get it directly from data set you can set the database connection you just need to make sure that it has the values like from and to and if you have uh, 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 other other parameters which needs to be set up in the message menu then you can set it up over there like uh, icons or stuff like that but since icons cannot be decided dynamically so from and messages basically uh, at the least you can specify and get the notification directly over here so that's what I wanted to talk about in this uh, video about dynamically getting the content of your messages. In the next video, we will look at the notification and task, which we have seen it over here. So within the type, if I write uh, type is equals to, we had messages, so that's what we have seen, but we want to see the notification and task, how they perform here in the dashboard and come along, which is beside to the message icon.